Welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man 7 as we take on the Wily stages. You know, one of these days we're gonna have to be practical and just go through the front door. And after the flying foursome, the terrible turrets, and a nice little reference to Castlevania 4 there with the something that looks somewhat like a drawbridge. That's pretty nice. Get out of here, boys. And forget the terrible turret. I don't need the bolt up there. And here we got the surprise screwballs. And we're just gonna get our junk shield on. Because I don't feel like being surprised by these screwballs coming out of the pit here. There we go. And at these picky platforms, which I'm gonna avoid. And let's get out our rush coil. And we're gonna get out our rush coil. Thank you. Yeah, I love the theme of this area. It's a nice, pretty nice touch for a beginning area of Dr. Wily's stage. Let's start that over again. And take out all the birds. I like how the first Wily stage is always smooth and then the music is a little bit faster, uh, you know. Each sort of each quote unquote stage you progress through this area. Or through any Wily area. And you see the gimmick to this area, you gotta jump up, hit the lights, die, sucker. There we go. Ah, I got all of them that time. Come here, dude. There we go. And make a leap of faith off the lion's head. Slide under. Grab the energy. Ah, I don't need the life. Ah, you see that? Ah, you, you thought you'd get me there, Michelin Man. Come on, buddy. Just jump in the pit. Thank you. And you can either use Rush Coil or the Super Adapter. And we're going to go with the Super Adapter this time. And you got more of these picky platforms. And more lights that go off and on. And you gotta keep jumping up and down to keep the lights on. And we all seen these platforms from the Mega Man games. But with the Super Adapter, it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, if only I had this in Mega Man and Base. Uh, but unfortunately, you're gonna have to actually use skill in that game, so. Ah, damn it! Damn it! Oh, 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 haha! Uh, Beat, you saved the day. Ah, thank you, Beat. Ah, fail insurance there. Yeah, I want to stay to the right here and get on the little platform when it appears onto the right side. Right to the little middle area where I'm jumping at. Ah, take it that idiot. Ah, I'll try again. Get out of here. I think it's just a nuisance. Damn it. Man, I wish I had some spike protection in this game. There we go. And I want to wait to the, for the middle platform. Right here. There we go. And we're through. And I don't think... don't think I need that energy tank. No, I got full E-tanks. Minus one beat, of course. You are far too weak, Mega Man. Wily may fear you, but I do not. You're good, but I'm better. Or so you think. Yeah, base is pretty simple. He's weak to the rocket buster of the S adapter, so... That'll take about seven or eight hits to kill him. Yeah, you'll always be back. Alright, that was pretty easy. Yeah, you can just charge up the, the Twisker Punch or whatever the hell this thing is called to mash up these Roche Motels. 
an old Popeye Twisker punch. Alright, second boss already. Now against Gutsman G. And of course the Twisker punch has no effect on Gutsman. And neither do those little popcorn pellets. But he is weak to the slash claw. Nah, damn it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I didn't do that much damage. What you gotta do to this guy is uh, just hit him in the head with the slash claw. Also, use a slash claw to break those blocks that he's slamming down from the ceiling. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you hit at the right time, you can knock the, the brick back at him for even more damage. Yeah, I couldn't do it there. Yeah, when he charged at you, yeah, just take the damage. Yeah, you don't get hit by that claw like you saw before. It takes a lot more damage off. Yeah, about three more hits and he should be gone. Yeah, like two more hits now. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it, damn it. Yeah, that's why I give it not paying attention. Way. I almost run out of slash claws now. And he's gone. And there goes Gutsman. Victory slide for the win. And no balls in my face. Oh. Perhaps that's a good thing. Here's your password if you want to write it down. For me, I'll rather be using safe states. And as you can see by the map, uh, looks like we went the wrong way. And like I said before, I like how the music is a little bit faster and in these wily stages. And now you got the cool jazzy beat. I like the theme of this area. Yeah, it goes goes pretty nice with the turtles realm. Well that's what this area is called. As you see by the turtles in the background. Yeah, there goes the snow sledding suckers there. That's why I took the top path. And if I didn't mention before you can see when these sniper Joes are about to attack when they when their visors flash. And it's not so easy in Mega Man and Base, however. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, I get the jump shield out. Take care of the shield idiot here. Ah, uh, let's see, I'm gonna kill this guy first. I'll probably get hit uh, trying to kill this guy. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, and he dropped another one. I like how those uh, power pellets are like lanterns. Well, at least to me they do. Yeah, this guy can be annoying. There we go. And... Alright, first time. And before I take out this Sniper Joe here... Yeah, this place looks a little bit inconspicuous. Let me try a rush search here. Got anything for me? Scooby Snack? No? No. Eh, thanks for wasting my time, Rush. Uh, take out this guy. I'll have to get it out and take the hit. Yeah, I got two more. And this guy's guarding that one up. Come on, Sniper Joe, give it up. Uh, I think I already have nine lives already, so yeah, that was pretty much a waste. Yeah, but I appreciate the sub-weapon energy, though. And yeah, watch out for these purple platforms, yeah. You can't see it from here, but they move. You see the little tiny, tiny bit of treads on top of them. And we'll get our power, power adapter, or whatever this thing is called. Ah, my wait is over. 
This time, the mighty Mega Man shall fall. And you see, uh, base in trouble. They do their fusion ha. But we already have our fusion ha ready yet. He's not really that tough. Just like the, the base we fought before, yeah, he's weak to the, the Twisker Punch. Of course, when he's on screen. Yeah, just don't get hit by his uh, Super Base Buster. Or the Charge Base Buster, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that there. Don't get hit by that, and don't get hit by his uh, Twisker Punch either. Yeah, they do the most damage. Yeah, mostly I like staying next to him. Yeah, so I don't get hit by his uh, Super... Base Buster, whatever the hell the thing, damn thing is called, or his Rocket Punch. And, oh shit! Oh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot I didn't have any energy left. Oh well, it doesn't matter anyway. I was gonna, I was gonna waste an E tank on, on this guy anyway. Yeah, it's better off just starting off with full health. I got plenty of lives. I damn, I didn't see the springs there. Eh, I'm not paying that much attention today. Alright, let's get back to the S adapter. That's what that damn thing is called. Yeah, that's what I get for trying to glance at the football game that's going on there. And not this game that I'm playing now. Alright, I'll grab that useless sub weapon energy. And if you if you hear any uh any background noise, any blowing in the background, uh that's good old Hurricane Sandy uh, making her visit to New York. Uh, we had to pre-record a couple of these episodes. I'll probably record everything today, which is Sunday, October 28th. Yeah, just in case uh, Hurricane Sandy knocks out my power or anything like that. Well, of course, if my power gets knocked out. I won't be able to upload anyway. So uh, never mind. And here we have these annoying speed burners, or rocket blasts, or whatever the hell you want to call it. And we're just going to super adapt our way through this area. And this place is still annoying though. But I'd still rather take this over the pitfalls. And up here. Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> Alright, let's time this now. There we go. Ah, shit. Ah, I've got to blast it the other way. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it. Come on, give me that energy. Give me that energy. Ah, it's looking like a fail now. The fail monster's trying to get me here. But, he won't. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Fail monster reared his ugly head, but uh, Mega Man and S, -Ap S Adapter prevailed. And get our danger app on this guy here. If I kill one of these bats with it, ah, damn it. Ah, I got all three though with the Twisker Punch. And thanks for that little ticky tack energy uh, pellet there, game. Ah, eh, it's time to S Adapter my way through this area. Yeah, that's the ticket through uh, all these wily areas. Aw, oh, come on, what are you hitting the damn fire turret for? The fucking enemies right up there. This must be Inspector Gadget's S adapter. <laughs> go, go, Gadget, rocket punch. He hits himself in the head with it. Ah, uh, let's see. You know what? Yeah, forget that energy. Ah, eh, we won't be needing it against this boss. Yeah, let's get out our wow call already. Oh, I love this area here. With the turtles in the background. Haha. <laughs> wonder if this area was a link to the past reference with the turtle rock. And I forgot what this guy's name is. It doesn't matter what his name is. Yeah, he's weak to the wild coil. And when he shoots up, he uh, leaves his hooch behind or Looks like one of those hooches from World War II, but you can use the danger app on these turtles. And you can see the pattern here. I'll show you the pattern later. See the number two? The number two pattern, the turtles will fly up and try to crash into you. And then you can just use the danger app to 
wrap the third turtle up and hit him in the head with it. For the max damage. Ah, damn it. And you see pattern number one on top of the hooch there. Yeah, the number one pattern, the turtles will mostly like, just walk towards you. Just use your danger app on the first one to kill the second one. And just let him come out. And just wait for the turtle to rear his head. And hit him again for max damage. And that's all you need to do for this guy. You can also slide under his uh, little annoying attacks there. Yeah, he also has a three pattern as well. Where the turtles are buried underground. Uh, he didn't use it there. Yeah, that was the most annoying one. And a danger wrap. Kill the turtle. And this should do him in. And... Got him. And he's gone. Good old bubble bobble style. And a victory slide for the win. And a victory jump. Alright, you can stop now, McMahon. Stop. Stop! Stop dancing! And here's your password if you dislike save states. Wrote it down. Really going the wrong way here. And this is one of my another one of my favorite tracks in the game, Walk the Invisible. As I take out the terrible turrets. And let's get out our rush coil. I really don't need the bolt. And let's take out these terrible turrets across these picky platforms. And I'll get that bolt. What the hell? It's there. And let's, let's adapt our way through this area. And give him a good old twisker punch. There we go. And yeah, forget you, buddy. And Sniper Joe, meet Twisker Punch. And S Adapter, meet Tiny Crawl Space. Touche, game. Touche. And we got these uh, invisible, visible platforms. Yeah, I got the Proto Shield on. You know, why not? May as well show it off another time. Yeah, you can block those little bullets by the little met tools there. Not actual collision damage. Yeah, it would be nice if you can use it as a weapon. You know, like Captain America and the Avengers, but... Yeah, I used to love that arcade game back in the days. Yeah, I know people are like, uh, what's an arcade game? Is that, like, MAME? No, no. <laughs> yeah, let's try a rush search here. This place looks a little bit, uh, inconspicuous. What do you got there, Rush? Trouble in the old mill? Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Hey, we got Wily's teeth. Real nice there, Rush. Real, real nice. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can take out this little thingamabob here. Ground blender. Got our danger wrap. The danger wrap. There we go. And let's get the rush coil out. Ah, oh, it disappeared. Ah, oh, rush disappeared. There we go. And get that extra life that I lost in the last episode. And I take out these shield Sheldons. Goodbye, shield Sheldon. Hey, springs from Springman stage came back. Eh, this place looks a little bit annoying. It's time for the S-Adapter. Go, go, Gadget Rocket Punch. There we go. Get out of here, Spring. Not even near season. Eh, got him with the Rocket Punch. Ah, oh, man, I wish I had this in Mega Man and Base. Jesus Christ. <laughs> And across these platforms, we're taking out a Super Mario World. But I think they were using the original Mega Man NES game as well, so nuts to that. Yeah, we gotta go back to regular Mega Man and get under this little platform here. And this area leads to two areas. Uh, you wanna go to the top, you don't wanna go to the bottom. That leads to water and spikes, and there's a, 
annoying six block jump you gotta make over the spikes in the water and I really hate that jump. I never do it. Not worth it. And yeah, we'll rush Jet across here. You use an S adapter as well. And here you have your disappearing, reappearing blocks. And as I hate disappearing, reappearing, rear, rear, rip appearing blocks, whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna rush Jet across this area. Now! Ah, damn it. Well, not now. And now. Should be able to get through this. Ah! <laughs> I just glitched through the block there. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, we get some couple items here. E tank, S tank, and also a weapon energy tank. Yeah, I'm pretty much good on weapon energy. Yeah, I should have four now. And just to traverse around here. Hey, we got the dinosaurs from Prehistoric Robosaurus. Eat my junk. Yeah, suck on it. <laughs> and there's another E tank which you could have gotten if you went the other way. There's a lot more um, items going that other way, which I went through with Rush Jet. And here we have Hanya Ned. And I think the, the kanji on his. I guess on his rockets. I think it means a uh, certain killing. I think, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I read Weapon Mega Man Wiki. Uh, yay! Me so smart. Yeah, he's actually weak to the Noise Crush, and also he's weak to the Slash Claw. And his point of damage is that little green dot between his eyes, but you can hit him with the slash claw when he leans when he rockets forward. I I never you could jump on the rockets and use your mega buster to hit him in between the eyes, but I never do that because I'm terrible at jumping on these rockets. Yeah, I just slide under him. Yeah, as long as you stay on the left side of the screen, a little laser will never hit you. I always just wait till he rockets forward and yeah, when he moves down towards you, yeah, just hit him with the slash claw. There we go. Yeah, it may take a little bit longer, but as like I said before, I'm terrible at jumping on those rockets. Ah, I couldn't get him that time. And over the rockets. Yeah, just stay to the right here. And, ah, did I get him? Oh, he got me, though. Eh, let's see. Eh. What the hell? Use that E-Tank. Eh, I don't want to take any chances against this guy. Ah, damn it. And more rocket dodging. And once he comes down, and hit him with the Slash Claw. Oh, look at that. All right. Jumping on the rockets. <laughs> yeah, showing off my lack of Mega Man skills there. Yeah, my, my strategy for most of these guys is use a strategy that takes the least amount of strategy. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll see that when I get to Dr. Wily. Yeah, let's see if I can get him with the Mega Buster here. There we go. Ah, oh, got him. Alright, victory slide for the win. And a victory bounce. Show off your Dance Dance Revolution skills there, Mega Man. Yeah, he should have had you on Dancing with the Stars. And here's your password if you want to write it down. Hey, look, we got a Met Tool on the, on the password screen. And in the next episode, of course, we have the obligatory boss gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. And not really my favorite uh, part of Mega Man either, so. And welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man 7 as we take on the final Wily stage. As you can see, we take the Pepsi Plunge. 
right into the obligatory boss calling. Yay! No. Alright, I'm full on weapon energy and everything else. Lives, E-Tanks. And we get some useless bolts. Useless weapon energy. More useless bolts. And a useless free life. And this is the boss gauntlet room. What you can do is you can move up and down if you want to. You can fight anyone you want. And we'll start off with this one here. And we take on Cloud Man. That's a nice way to start off this boss gauntlet. As good old Hurricane Sandy makes her way over to New York. Yeah, probably either tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, so far it's just winds outside now. Really no rain. And basically the same thing for this guy. Just bubble wrap. He'll shoot at lightning and bubble wrap again. That was a pretty good thing though. He got a... He got let off from work early though. Because of the hurricane, so... That's pretty nice. You get to upload all these videos. Well, not upload. I mean, uh... Get to record all these videos on the same day. On the good old the 28th of October. Yeah, I'll just go back to the danger rap. Let's see if I can get him with the Mega Buster. Nah, I still can't. And one more I should do him in. And there goes Cloud Man. And get a little energy for our efforts. And let's see, who will I fight next? And I'll go here. Ah, Shade Man. Yeah, this arena is a little bit different than the last time we fought him in his own stage. You see the platform is raised a little bit, so... We actually hit him with a wild coil here. Make him a little bit easier. But not by that much because, yeah, you can see there. Yes, yeah, the platform is lowered. A little bit easier to, for him to catch me with his little energy sucking, whatever crap he does. Whatever vampires do. Oh, what is he sucking? My blood or oil? Yeah, I think it is oil or something like that. Yeah, it says something like that in a Mega Man wiki. I can never avoid that first noise crush. Yeah, I got through that one. Oh, he's dead already. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. And who am I going to fight next? Yeah, I'll go here. Eh, yeah, Spring Man. <laughs> yeah, let's get our Slash Claw ready. Oh, wow, you actually hit me. That was a good one there, uh, Spring Man. And just like the same thing before. He'll jump up. Fire twice. And again with the Slash Claw. Yeah, Spring Man never learns. I guess he didn't put enough brains in those springs of his. Yeah, it's too bad for you, buddy. You got more uh, more springs than brains. Yeah, you're not even in the right season. Get out of here. And one more slash claw. And you're gone. Next. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'll go here. Ah, it's Freeze Man. Freeze! I'll crush you! I'll make a popsicle of you! Thur, thur. <laughs> Alright, enough goofing around. <laughs> Alright, Slash Claw's not gonna do anything there, Mega Man. Yeah, he... the second weekend is actually the... Flame wheel, if you can hit him with the goddamn thing, which is so goddamn slow. That's why I never use it. Yeah, I'll just junk shield this guy to death. Yeah, it's a shame when they did the Frost Man in Mega Man 8. They just <laughs> turned him to Yeah. <laughs> that's what happens when you hit him with the with the freeze cracker. 
Yeah, the battle will somewhat stop and he'll just point at the viewer and give us a little cheat pose. Yeah, I just figured I'd show that off. <laughs> That's the best what they did to all the voice actors in Mega Man 8. Oh. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. And we have Wolverine or Gaw. Any other generic enemy with a claw. Eh, same thing as before. Let's see if I can slide under it. Nah, I couldn't do it that time. I know, yeah, don't don't bother using a, an E-Tank on any of these bosses in this gauntlet here. Yeah, you want to save all your E-Tanks for Wily. Yeah, I, I really don't care. Yeah, if you die, just start over with full energy. Yeah, I have plenty of lives. Yeah, the lives I really don't care for, but the, but the E-Tanks... Yeah, you're gonna need all of them for for Dr. Wily. Trust me on that one. Eh, he's got the freeze cracker. Eh, first you don't succeed, fail, fail again. Let's see if I can slide under him. There we go. Eh, just shotgun ice him to death. Eh, I won't be able to. Aw, oh, damn it. I almost got through it. And slide under. Aw, oh, damn, how do you get me there? I don't know what the hell those things are. Melons or... Eh, who cares. Because he's dead. Next. Eh, let's see. We'll go here. Eh, it's Jumpman. Morph Moss, brother from another mother. And he's still fucking jumping over my Thunderbolt. But not this time. Eh, you're not gonna get me like last time, buddy. I learned from my mistake. And you're gonna learn from yours. Piece of garbage. Next. And what do we have here? What's behind door number three? A new car! Yay! Yeah, let's get our noise crush ready. Ah, you're not gonna give me like from last time. Yeah, he's bouncing off the wall. Hit him for some extra damage. Bang! <laughs> I like when you hit him all the little fires. <laughs> all the little fires get knocked out of him. Oh, he's gone already. Too easy. Next. Yeah, I gotta record all this stuff on the on the day before the hurricane. There. Uh. Yeah, we got Burst Man. Yeah, I actually had to find all my portable video game devices and stuff. I actually found my DS and my PSP, my old PSP. The old one, though, the one way back from like 2004. The old brick PSP that's been homebrew hacked to, he to death. Yeah, I don't even have any games on it, just ROMs. I actually found my old DS, uh, my old junk bin in my closet. It still had a game and it still had the Minish Cap inside of it. <laughs> yeah, I just bounce over him. Yeah, I'll probably die. I hate this stupid flame burner thing. It it's like the broke man's version of the speed burner in Mega Man X2. Yeah, let's go to the Mega Buster. Ah, fuck it. Oh, okay, I just start over. Yeah, to find my old PSP, my DS. Yeah, charge all that stuff up, you know, just in case the power goes out or something goes wrong. And uh. Hurricane is supposed to come in sometime either tonight or tomorrow. Monday. Yeah, just in case something goes wrong. I had to sit there and play my PSP and stuff. But it's good, I still do have my have Mega Man 7 ROM on my PSP. Hopefully it still works. I haven't played the damn thing in about a year or so. Oh, almost got caught there. 
I actually found my old Pokemon game, Pokemon Fire Red. That's something I haven't played in about four or five years. And that's since I was in the army, I used to play all those Pokemon games when I was stationed over in Korea. Also, when I was in California, had no TV, so now if you didn't have a Game Boy or a PSP or nothing, you'll be just stuck in a tent doing jack shit, either playing cards or basically doing absolutely nothing, being fucking bored. But anyways, in the next episode, the finale of Let's Play Mega Man 7. We take on one of the most annoying wily bosses in Mega Man history. And welcome back to the finale of Let's Play Mega Man 7. We're all set and ready to take on one of the most annoying bosses in Mega Man history. Well, we're almost all set. <laughs> Could use a little bit more uh, sub weapon energy. And this first form is pretty easy. Not really that difficult. And he's weak to the Thunderbolt, which we're going to use on this asshole. Come on, hurry up, Wily. And you get a slide right under him. Yeah, the only thing that can really hurt you is little spikes on his chin there. And just hit him with the Thunderbolt. And those little Wily bots, you can just take him out with the Junk Shield. There we go. And a Thunderbolt. <laughs> I like his little expression when you hit him with a Thunderbolt. And don't worry about the feet, they won't hurt you. The only thing that hurt you is the uh, little spikes in the chin, like I said before. And a junk shield for the little robots. And yeah, they can't be a nuisance. And back to the Thunderbolt. And slide right under. Yeah, sometimes he can't come out to the other side, though. Yeah, just be wary of that. And another junk shield for the win. And a junk and a thunderbolt, I mean, for the loss for you, Wily. Now I'm all out of junk shields. Hopefully, I can take him out with a thunderbolt. And got him. Yeah, and uh, remember Dr. Light told us you can charge up the wild coil to make him bounce higher? Well, what he didn't mention, that if you hold up on the controller while charging him, you can bounce him even more higher to get Wily on any part of the screen. As such, yeah, don't worry about the little stupid fireballs. I really don't care for them. Yeah, my strategy for this battle, use a strategy that takes the least amount of strategy. Kill him before he kills you. And bounce those wild coils up. Oh wow, I dodged it. Alright. Yeah, you wanna get if you wanna get hit by the fireballs, get hit by the yellow ones. Yeah, the fire ones will damage you. And they'll keep you all uh, blazed on fire, which is pretty annoying. Yeah, just get hit by the yellow ones. They don't do as much damage as the as the blue ones, which freezes you. Aw, oh, damn, I got all fall. Yeah. Yeah, you nailed me there. Yeah, just charge up those wild coils and continue to attack aggressively. Yeah, well, if you have four E-Tanks, you should be fine. There we go. <laughs> you see, I tried to find a yellow <laughs> a yellow fireball to get hit with. And I'm going to have to use some of that weapon energy. And an E-Tank. And get those wild coils ready. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I didn't have enough time to charge it up. And just... Ah, oh, he's right there. Good. Ah, I couldn't get that yellow one. Ah, where are you gonna be? When he's high up in there, just hold up on the controller and hit him with a wild coil. Yeah, as long as you charge it up and hold up on the controller, yeah, you can hit him from any part of the screen with the wild coil. It's a little bastard move of the game, they don't tell you that. And it got him there. Whoa, dodged it. Wahoo! Ha ha ha! 
Alright, two more hits should do him in. Alright, found me a yellow one to get hit with. Alright, this should be the end. And... Game! Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna get me, fail monster. And that Wily is hit in the air to deep right. It is high. It is far. It is gone. Ah, no LP curse today. Yeah, you give up. For the seventh time, for the last time. Yeah. What I gonna do, Mega Man? Hell, I'll still take a typo over the voice acting any day. I am more than a robot! Die, Wily. You don't belong in this world. Back to jail again. Get beat down in the cell. They're gonna stick his balls with ice picks. Mega Man returns. He's gonna get some from Roll. They see she's his sister, but there's no DNA relation. Mega Man does what he can as he walks away from the burning wild fortress. Like some cliche action movie. Makes the freaking man. Until the eighth installment win. They gave him a girl voice actor and Dr. Light sounds like Elmer Fudd. What an embarrassment that was. They made him sound like one of those power puff girls. And they did the same stupid thing. And Mega Man X4, they should have fired who picked those gay voice actors and make them burn in the same wily fortress that's burning up, burning in the background. Taking the damage now, it doesn't matter now. Wally is going down. 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 Wally is going down
am a scout, it doesn't matter now, Wally, he just went down. You couldn't see me if you had my home address. Give it a rest, Wiley, you're under arrest.